for me, it's been really cool to see my whole school go through a lot of different changes here in Holland. Uh, obviously, arriving here uh, was a massive uh, shock to him and everything was different. The grass, the routine, even the amount of hours we have of light here. Um, he has been, he has had a few struggles. He was doing quite well the first couple of weeks, but now we're into week five, week six, and he's just struggling to eat a little bit and trying to make the best of the, um, of the resources I have. So using something like the walker, I think it's gonna be really good to get Chase into a routine in the morning before he goes out to the paddock to give him a bit of a walk, let him have a stretch, he's a very big horse, so it is good for him to get out and have a walk. Um, but even later when he meets Macho, yes, and I do wanna have the horses together, uh, and he is gonna to have to meet him at some point. I think if they can do it together alone, it's gonna be a little bit easier. Uh, and that's another first I wanna share with you guys on my journey moving here and on, on Chase's journey as well. I think it's really cool having just having a horse that, you know, I got him when he was six, so he's already seen and done a lot of things, but now uh, he's nine, uh, turning 10 this year, uh, and I'm still getting to experience all these cool first times with him. So we're waiting for the walker to turn around, uh, so to see how he kind of takes the change of direction. That way I can have some peace of mind if I leave him here while I do the stables, or I'm away and he's in the walker. Uh, and then after that, we're gonna see how he reacts to Macho, and hopefully they're gonna be okay together. Oh, good boy! Oh, he handled that quite well. A oh, good boy, Chase. I'm glad, I'm glad he handled it like that because my horse can be, he's a big guy, he's always very quiet, everything's always super chill with him, but he's got a very sensitive soul. Uh, so for him, he does struggle with some things like that sometimes, especially when they're new. But it was good to see that, you know, the divider came to him, everything switched around, and he was also a little bit late with the switch, but he was fine. So that kind of, that does give me some peace of mind to just, you know, be able to leave him in here, do some other things and know he's going to be okay. Overall, I'm really, really happy. Good boy, Chase, how is it in this? No, no, don't do that, don't do that. Turn, turn. Okay, okay, that's not how it's Okay, so we're done now. I want to leave it on a positive note. Chase has had a few really good rounds uh, in the walker. Uh, he's been good. He's chilled now. As you can see, he's just walking behind me. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, and it's really easy. There's a main uh, kill switch, so you can just turn that. Wait, and I should be able to turn it a little bit myself. Yeah, good boy. And then we can just get him out. It's time to go meet Macho now. Good boy! So we just finished with Chase and the walker. He did really, really well. We are gonna go and meet Macho now. Uh, I'm gonna leave the boots on because something tells me Macho's probably gonna be more dangerous than the walker. And I'm also gonna put uh, one of my favorite back on track rugs on. Uh, this rug is actually quite thick, so it should protect Chase from any bites or any anything Macho would like to throw at him. Chase is a big horse, but I do wanna always be a bit careful with him, especially after he's come all this way. Not that that matters, because I always wanna be careful with him. The last thing I would want is that after our big journey, he also has to deal with an injury. So we're just gonna pop this on. And then we're gonna head down to the paddock and meet this little Shetland stallion. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put uh, Chase in the paddock with Macho. I've got my rug on, I've got my boots. I know I'm being probably overdramatic, but you can never be too careful. Um, I have a whip just in case we need to separate them, not to hit them obviously, but just to make sure they're running away from each other or running away from a potentially dangerous situation. Uh, I'm gonna leave my halter on, they'll be fine with that on. I'm gonna take my rope off, this is just to make it easier if I've got to catch him. Um, Chase has never been inside with a Shetland before. He's very playful and he can be a little bit, not aggressive, but violent. No, <laughs> no, not violent. Just enthusiastic, that's a good word. So we're going to do that now, uh, but we're going to start with just introducing them uh, while we hold them on the lead because they've been able to smell each other, but that's all, that's about it. That's all they've done. So we're going to go, we're going to head in the paddock. Uh, we're going to close the fence behind us uh, and we're going to see what kind of reaction we get. So we're just going to gonna let them talk like this a little bit first. The sounds is normal and luckily Chase is very tall, so it shouldn't be able to get too bad. Good boy. I feel like we'll let them go. Good boy. Now, one thing I want to say first is that these horses have been next to each other for five to six weeks. So they've gotten to know each other over the fence. They've already talked a little bit. So we're not just rushing into it. This has been some time in the making. But now we feel like they're at a comfortable spot where we can put them in and we've, we've kind of avoided the big, the big possible fight or dispute. Can you care a little bit more? <laughs> the, the size difference. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, 
Thank you guys for joining me and our horses today. Um, I had a lot of fun sharing these first experiences with you. Um, hopefully I'll be having a few more videos coming out. Uh, I'm going to try once a week. Happy that everything went well. Chase and Macho uh, actually went really well together. Uh, Chase did really well in the walker. Of course there was a few uh, minor <laughs> hiccups, uh, but he worked them out quite well. Uh, thank you for joining me uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye bye. Okay, you look so different. Who is this? Why? I don't know. Because they're shaved. I haven't really tried a few of Guys. Yeah, Ain't a single tear messing up her makeup. And she got Also the ground wet. Wow! Oh, I did say that. No. Hey, I'm yes sir. Hey, yes sir. I'm just here now. Yeah, I'm gonna introduce you. Okay. Is this okay with the wind? Yeah, I think so. Yes, yes. Okay, camera woman's back on track. She's back on track. Um. Shh, quiet! The Ava! <laughs> Shut your filthy mouth. Okay. I love how it's confused. Mag! <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're always my pony.